It's uh, it's Alec. Yes. Hello, Alec. Hi. Um, I was uh, wondering if you'd like to continue our discussion about um, about getting all the ads down. Okay. Um, well, first, I want to let you know that um, just to make it clear, if you if you make another video that um, includes all the requirements that I'm going to list for you, I will uh, remove all of my ads completely from the Wikipedia. If you mm-hmm. if you follow right. my instructions, Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay. Hang on. Let me get some right on and some right with. All right. Okay, I'm listening. All right. Um, first of all, like I said in our last call, um, I'd like you to admit that I do have a very sizable fan base uh, because I think you believe that I don't have any real fans. I'd like you to admit that I do. I have quite a lot of fans. A lot of them are former Sonichu fans. Okay, well, yeah, admit that. Okay, what's the next link? Um, well, in your apology video, I asked you to address not only Simon Chu, but Simone La, and you didn't. And I'd like you to bring up that you actually did ask Evan permission to use Simone La when you first began using her, uh, which shows that you understood from the beginning that Simone La was not yours and you were borrowing her from or, or him, rather, Simon Chu, from the original creator. And I'd like you to admit that Simone Lowe was never yours. Let's see. Hmm. Will you do that, Chris? I'm writing it down. Hang on. All right, what's the next thing? Um, I'd like you to admit that you attempted to edit the Wikipedia article about Simona to say that she was your original creation. That wasn't a nice thing to do to your fans. Quite. Anyway, uh, got the written down. What's the next thing? Um... I want you to acknowledge that even though Evan gave you permission to use Simone La, he later took it away. And he took it away quite a long time ago. And I'd like you to admit that you have been ignoring and disrespecting his requests to remove his character from your comic. Alright, I'm writing it down. Um. You know, it sounds like um, you're actually pretty agreeable about this, and I'm glad about that. Yeah, well, I'm writing it down here. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, you're writing it down, so you're you're going to do those things so far? Yeah. Well, anyway, anyway, it's still debatable. Anyway, what's the next thing? No, it's not debatable. Chris, all these conditions I'm listing, you have to do these or my ads go nowhere. Yeah, anyway, uh, okay, what's the next thing? Does that matter to you, Chris? You said it's debatable, and I'm saying it's not. Don't you want to acknowledge that? Acknowledged. Anyway, uh, what's the next thing? <sighs> All right. Um, I asked you to apologize for the word naive. I want you to do that. Specifically say that you used the word naive because you intended to hurt and insult me, and you know that I am not naive. All right. Yeah, okay, what's the next thing? I want you to apologize for cursing Mao. And um, actually, I'd like you to issue him, give him a forgiveness blessing to, to retract that curse Hameha. Hmm. Okay, what's the next thing? Um, okay, what's the next 
anything else? Um, I want you to apologize for stealing from me. Hmm. You know, the, um, the false chaotic combo I created, you stole them. And you stole Asper, too, and tried to change them around. Um, can we talk about some, can we talk about Simona a bit? Because I want to know why you say it's debatable. Hmm. Let me think about that a moment. Hmm. Okay, I guess that's a pretty much short thing to say, so I, w I respectfully withdraw it. So, is there anything else? Um, so you, so you are going to say that Simone Law is not your, you're going to say exactly what I asked you to say about Simone Law? You're going to? Yeah. Okay. Um, the next thing is, these are the things that I wanted you to make in a video, but I also want you to, um, in your comic, just take a page or whatever, you know, take a little side break from the main story and use the page to explain uh, everything that I just said as well. And I would like you to, in that comic page, apologize to me and to Mao and to Evan for all the things that I just listed. Uh-huh. Are you going to do that? Yeah. Because uh, I asked you... I just want to make sure you're going to do these, Chris, because I asked you to do these things the last time that we talked about it. I mean, the last time before you, you know, hung up on me. And um, you said you were writing it down, but then you forgot, like, half the things that I asked you to do. Yeah. All right, so... Is that it? Is there anything else? Um... I guess you don't have to put it in the video, this next part, but I'd like you to apologize for pretending to be your mother in the last phone call and uh, pretending that she was calling you away from the phone call. Hmm. And the reason I'd like you to apologize for that is because I um, really don't benefit a whole lot from calling you about these matters. I was calling you because... I wanted to give you a quick and easy way to settle this whole ad business and to settle the fight between us. And rather than take the opportunity to listen to what I said, you pretended to be your mother and you know pretended that your mother was calling you away to do an errand and you had to leave the phone call. So instead of handling the problem right then and there, and if you had done so, then you know the ads could have been gone by now, uh, but instead you, you ran away from me. It shows you don't respect me. Nice. Yeah. So, all right. Wrote that down. Anything else? Well, I'd like, I'd like you to admit that right now, Chris, that you lied about that. Okay. Well, and since you, I admit that I, I admit that I pretended to be my mother to end the call early last time. Can I ask you why you did that, Chris? Because I felt it was going on and on, and I was we tired. Were, we were barely on the phone for five minutes when you did that. And this is, uh, like I said, this is a serious matter, and it's your problem that I'm trying to help you with. I was being gracious enough to call you to you know, give you a way to settle it, and you still you ran away from me. Real men don't run away from their problems, Chris. When I... I talk to you, I talk to you on an even footing, man to man. I don't lie or deceive you. And I don't run away, even though you are a troll to me. Because, you know, obviously I've been calling you to talk to you instead of hiding from you. Okay. Um, that's another thing I want you to put in the video. I want you to admit that you are a troll. And you have been trolling me ever since I... Um, ever since my comic started. And use that word specifically. Say, I, Christian Weston Chandler, am a troll. Yeah. Okay. Can you, um, 